Rascal, are you in pain? Has the A virus finally reached his brain? I'm so itchy, my body itches all over. You fool, who cares if you're itchy? Be a man, Rascal. Ooh, I'm growing thick hair on my legs uh, and chest hair, too. Chest hair? It's blonde! But there are only a few of them! The A virus. It seems like it's taking effect slowly but surely. Axel had chest hair? Way to go! Oh, my lord, now's not the time to be impressed by such a pathetic fact. This is an emergency. of Sura Measle. He's got nice leg and chest hair. Word to your father. Look at that shining patch of chest hair. Even sunlight seems dull in comparison. What the... Ugh, now Desco and the lass are acting coquettish? Huh? What was I saying? Desco too? Desco just said something that a final boss should never utter! It's another symptom of the A-Virus. How horrible! Huh? Oh, uh, what now? You! Brainy instructor! I'll get you! And... And... Fight. We must not give in until the very end! Don't forget our true reason for fighting! We cannot let ourselves turn into axles right now! What's happening, people? Whoa. A little reverb there. Okay. Um. So. Even though this and the next chapter are both story installments, I beat this level so quickly that um, I feel forced to put two of them together <laughs> to make it an adequate length. Uh, this is another straightforward level. It, you know, just a bunch of clone panels, so there will be one extra axle each turn. You know, big whoop. They're not. Th they're not that threatening. Although, you know, when they don't have weapons I'm not even Take sure this. I mean when I'm not even sure what class they're supposed to be because they're axle imitators but I you Let's know they just show. have an axle skin they're still a different class I go. anyway um, since I can't review axle well technically I can but I'm saving that for a particular fight um, I think it's about time I went over my Here wood I golem go. I go. one of my favorite Monster classes. Alrighty. Uh, wood golems are direct damage dealers that also try to survive heavy damage through high health and abilities that give health back as they fight. This is wonderful at low levels, but it does not scale throughout the game. Later on, it's only their extreme health that keeps them up in fighting. And even that fails once the extreme late game is reached. However, wood golems are huge, fun, and do high damage. Even when survivability gets tough, you can hit hard enough that these characters do have a good time. You just might find yourself using magic chains more often to give your best axe characters some love. Sure enough, um, wood golems are a shadow of their former selves. Considering, um, as I mentioned in Niskaya 2, where they were first introduced, they recover 20% of their health every turn. 
Now, their photosynthesis, the ability, is only 10%. Uh, only half as much as before, and it, it does hurt their overall survivability. But they're, they're still walking goliaths. Um, I mean, you know, I, I'm gonna skip to their aptitudes right away. Uh, HP, uh, Wood Giant, the base one, HP aptitude 130. Already it's that su it's that high. SP 90, attack 140. Monstrous. Defense 110, also really good. Intelligence 70, but that's useless anyway. Resistance 90, still not too bad for a base. Hit 70, that can be a little bit annoying. And speed 90. So, their aptitudes are actually fantastic. Not to mention, I don't really ever talk about base stats, but they have just super high health and attack. It's, it's nuts. Uh, and they already have decent defense. And even not too bad resistance. Slightly below average, but um, it could be a lot worse. Uh, their hit stat can be annoying, but overall, th th these guys are just walking tanks. Their movement is 3, however, which is annoying, so you either have to throw them a lot, or, um, you know, I, I, I don't want to give them a pair of shoes, simply because um, their aptitudes lend really well to muscles, belts, and good defensive armor to really increase their, you know, raw strength. Uh, let's see, then we have the Tree Folk, the Forest Guardian, the Green Giant, the Gaia Titan, and the Dreadnought. Um, the Dreadnought has HP Aptitude 155, SP 115, Attack 165. Crazy. Absolute nuts. Defense 135, Intelligence 80, Resistance 115, Hit 80, Speed 115. So really, at that level, the only aptitude that's really lacking is hit. And that can be um, circumvented somewhat by just getting behind your opponent, although admittedly, with their low maneuverability, that can be somewhat of an issue. Uh, but um, put them in the character world, um, increase their movement, um, that would help somewhat. And actually, there are some defensive accessories that increase movement, like I mentioned. Uh, if you're able to purchase what's called a Samurai Robe, that's, an, that's a defensive accessory that also increases your movement by one. If you go into the item world and you find a chicken, you can uh, vote with enough mana or force the bill to increase the movement even further. Uh, this is much better than just giving them shoes, as it keeps them, you know, their tank-like properties. They also have a good counter rate of three, which if you increase by one, they just just keep hitting back and back and back. Great, great attack. All right, then there are other abilities. The second one is activation, which increases your stats by 20% when the character is at maximum health. Uh, pretty nice considering, you know, they regain health every turn anyway, and even if their photosynthesis isn't enough to um, get them back to full, you know, a healer can easily make up for that difference. So it's it's a good natural ability for the Woodgrown class to have. Then there's Anger of Earth. 10% of the damage dealt by normal attacks recovers lost health. Um, your normal attacks do far less damage than your specials would, since the Woodgrown has some pretty good specials. However, because of their high counter rate, if you get into a counter wars, you would be... Re um, recover more health than normal. However, it's the amount is still pretty meager, and overall, I can think of many more abilities that would be more handy than this. Um, I will continue that discussion in a little bit. Great news, Mr. President. The effect of the A virus is tremendous. It's only a matter of time before it takes effect not only in the upper level but over the entire netherworld. No one in the netherworld will dare oppose your wishes now. This is going to be a total victory. What remarkable results. Even to this day, it seems as though I've underestimated his power. Everything I've done is to save the netherworld. Oh, the irony. Sir? Total victory. 
You're right. Unfortunately, we're not the side who won, no matter what happens in the end. I accept the truth. That is my final duty as the president. You're finally here, Prinny Instructor! Aha! So you're the boss here, huh? Not that you look any different than the others. Ah, ah, ah! Don't judge me! Of all the Axles who are invading the Netherworld, I am the original Axel! So you're the idiot of all idiots? No! That means I'm the Axel you guys already know! But didn't Warden Axel die? Yes! Dasko definitely killed him! Yeah, he died pretty easily. You guys thought I did because your eyes are full of crap! You all fell prey to my glorious Axel special skill number 48. Oh, Kabuki death! Kabuki death? Basically, he's trying to say that he was simply playing dead. However, it sure did look like he completely vaporized. <laughs> the Corruptor Mint was so impressed with my special skill that they scouted me. Out of you? For what? Young Master, it was for their plan to fill the Netherworld with demons as intelligent as me, of course. Poppycock! What do you think will happen to the Netherworld if it's filled with a bunch of idiots? Space will no longer be a Netherworld. It would be an Axel World! Oh, hey! Axel World! <laughs> Now that's music to my ears. Soon this place will be dyed in my colors. Then I'll finally... Now that you mention it, that's starting to sound pretty nice to me too. No, you're becoming delusional. Please get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Just give in to it already. The A-Virus is invincible. So, there's no cure? Hell if I know, they didn't tell me anything. And if the original me doesn't know, then I'm pretty sure a cure doesn't exist. Well, that simply means you don't know. It doesn't necessarily mean what doesn't exist. Mass producing such an idiotic person? How could the Corruptor Mint do something like this? Is this what Father really wants? As Valvatore said, we can't allow ourselves to turn into Axles right now. I have to find out what my father's true intentions are. It doesn't matter what you try to do now. You can't escape your destiny of turning into me. If you really want to keep resisting, fine. Have fun playing with my slaves. Oh man, look at all those axles. Um, this level actually could be uh, problematic. Because those are enemy base panels, and at the end of every turn, reinforcements will come out. I believe there's a set limit, but still, uh, if you don't uh, take care of this quick enough, it could be uh, problematic. And actually, I think that, is this the first time I tried di giant desco? It might be. I can help. Is she strong enough to take these two out? Not yet. Barely. God, bless me. God, bless me. Man, our weak. 
she needs I don't have any good guns. Anyway, um we're golems. Final ability is Fresh Green Sprout. Fully recovers each time the character levels up. Um that, that's kind of a weird ability. I mean, again, the idea is that if you couple this with activation, which increases your stats at full health. Um, that's why it would be handy, and maybe in the item world, it, it could be, but healers, you know, um, I, 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 don't, I don't think it's that great. Um, I, I don't use it. Uh, a better, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, a better ability might be either get the, uh, the ability from an orc that increases all aptitudes with a monster weapon equipped. That one's really handy. Or, you could do something like, uh, what was the zombies? I think the zombies had a good one. Um, increases all stats by 30%, but the character cannot be healed by magic. No, that doesn't really work with them that well. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a better one you can think of. There, there's a ton of abilities. Oh man, I just, <laughs> giant Desco. All right, you know that that attack is normally a cross. Now it's a three by three. Giant Desco is a bit broken. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Here. Actually, you know what could also work? You could try an ability like. Um, one of the generic abilities that like increases fire resistance simply because Wiggles, uh, they're 50% weak to fire, 25% weak to wind, and neutral to ice. So they don't have a single um, elemental resistance, which is uh, kind of bad for a big hulking class like this. Long distance fire attacks are their bane. So let's go into the moves. Uh, the first one is Skull Crush, uh, Power of E, and um, it knocks the enemy away like by three or four spaces or something. Uh, you know, it's a, a basic single target attack. It'll get, it'll, um, it'll do for a while, but there's a much better attack later. Um, Anger Tree, the power is E. Um, it hits all adjacent enemies to the Wood Golem, so uh, use this if you're surrounded. But um, other, usually I don't I don't like this attack so much simply because I usually pair my wiggle him up with a um, a beast tamer. Uh, the increase in the in the attack from their abilities uh, is dramatic when their attack capability is so high already. Oh man, I wait with this one. That giant ass sword. You rule, Giant Tesco. Uh, their next one, Hugs Tonight. Direct um, point blank, the power is A. It's fantastic. And it doesn't even use a whole lot of SP. Uh, you will do a crap ton of damage with this attack. It's fantastic. Um, this this is why you fear wood golems. The, the raw damage is severe. And, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, then the last one, Big Splash. It hits uh, five enemies in a straight line in front of you. The animation is nuts. And um, uh, the, the power is B, so that, that's kind of handy. It uses quite a bit of, it uses a fair amount of SP, but basically it's your, it's the Wiggles version of Rune Dimension. He gets his own Dimension Slash. Uh, I, I, at first I thought I was going to miss the rush hour because the, the Wiggle used to have a 3x3 three three square attack. Although, this is still good th in a straight line. Because off you'll be surprised how often in the character world and the item world you'll find a long row of opponents. And there aren't too many really long straight line attacks in this game, so that's very handy. Um, we'll go awesome. Then their magic change, they turn into an axe. Brain Shaker, as you've seen, the power is E, it's just a basic single target attack. 
And the next one is Nature Slash. Power is S. And it hits three horizontal enemies directly in front of you. Very, very strong. A very nice attack. Um, I like magic changing it to Fuka because the regeneration plus her ability really increases survivability. Oh, gotta start talking. Where's the original Axel? Damn, seems he ran away. As expected of the original, he's quick to flight. But even if we do capture him, if he doesn't know the cure, then... you know? There's no need to worry. In cases like these, if we defeat the original, the effects of the virus should also disappear. There's no medical proof to support that theory, but we have no choice but to believe our Lord's logic for now. It's a pointless struggle. Just give up and soak in the axleness. No! Please hang in there! D Desco is sorry, but Desco is reaching her limit! That's Blatherskite! Resist it, Desco! Stamina is the most important stat for a final boss to develop! I'm starting to fade, too. I'm losing consciousness in my dream to go relax in another dream. What? You too? Ooh, I think my chest here is growing an even thicker! Well, that should be alright. No, it's not! These are all symptoms of the virus! We cannot keep letting them suffer! You... Then why don't you cure them? Or are you saying that you won't cure the ones who can't pay? Come on, Fenric. She seems really worried about us demons, even though she's an angel. I have an idea of what Mr. Werewolf thinks of me. But my heart isn't cold enough to neglect the suffering souls in front of me, even if I'm in the middle of a mission. <laughs> and how longer will you be able to keep up that holier-than-thou attitude? You'll turn into me sooner or later, too. Eh, too, Fenric. Eh, too. Pardon me, Lord Val. It looks like I lost my spirit and fortitude for just a moment. I will be more cautious from now on. Please, forgive me. My lord, you must be careful as well. I couldn't bear to lay eyes on my master if he were to turn into Axel. Do not worry, Fenric. I'm your master, Valvatoris. And I promise you this. I will find a cure, no matter what. Believe in me! And the power of sardines! Sardines or not, I have absolute faith in Lord Val at all times. All is for my lord.